If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRAYS to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo, what's up guys? It's Sex here. So welcome back to some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 news, information, rumors, leaks, and a whole bunch more. Today we're going to be covering the maps that are going to be in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, along with one that's pretty cool that's going to be based off a zombies map. So hopefully you guys enjoy the news and information. It's going to be the same source that I've been using for all these other leaks. I will link a picture of the information down in the description below. But without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a favorite. Let's try to shoot for 500 likes. It'd be insane if you could hit it. And of course, if you aren't if you want to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest Black Ops 3 and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news and information, then make sure to subscribe. Let's jump straight into it, starting off with the maps, and then we'll talk about that special zombie one and a little bit more details. Maps, we got Hunted, a mid to long range engagement map with the waterfall in the middle. We saw this in the trailer. We got Labyrinth, fast paced and close quartered, tight tunnels allow shotguns and SMGs to dominate in the Forgotten Tombs and Tunnels of Giza, which sounds absolutely awesome. We got Boneyard, an open night themed map surrounding a central church dominated by snipers in the watchtower. The next one is called Stronghold, a snowy slash icy based map in the foothills of Switzerland, allowing for close quarter combat with long range engagement. The next one's called Relic, battle your way through some of the world's most cherished items in the world's most protected museum. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like a pretty cool map to just go around and destroy a bunch of, you know, really, really expensive and antique stuff. The next one's called Convert or Gonzo Facility. Facility, battle it out in the Gonzo facility where the very own cybernetics you rely on are being created. The next map is called Overboard. Sinking rapidly, a large oil rig allows for assault rifles to dominate in the forever changing map. The next one's called Blockade, a map base at the bottom of a crumbling dam. Watch out for falling rubble and water. Next one's called Poolside. Battle it out on the outskirts of one of Dubai's most luxurious hotels, Swimming Pool. The next one's called Combine, a tight, close quarter map allowing for SMGs and shotguns to dominate with a risky but rewarding wall running spot. Construction. Fight it out in a fully functioning construction site where cranes move large slabs of concrete and metal forever changing the map layout. The last two we got storage, storage warehouse full of the newest military technologies, robots, tanks, helicopters. And then the last one on this one is reactor. Battle it out in the forever abandoned nuclear reactor facility in Chernobyl, which I think is a pretty awesome kind of creepy map. Now the next one is going to be a little bit of information on, you know, on the maps that might be returning, on the zombie map as well as DLC maps, but there's not a lot. This is again, super, super early in the development cycle. A lot of the names and stuff can change. The studio is currently debating on what maps they would like to see return from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Of course, Nuketown will make a return as either a pre-order bonus or a future DLC map. The team are leaning towards pre-order bonus. They are also considering map remakes to return such as Raid, Hijacked, or Standoff. Expect a community poll released by Treyarch over the coming months before the reveal. Now let me know which one would you guys want to see from those three, Raid, Hijacked, or Standoff. Leave in the comment section which one are you leaning towards. And then the next little bit of detail, Moon. Moon from the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies is also in talks. The idea is that a space map in multiplayer would be a nice special addition to the default maps. However, it's likely to appear as DLC. So I think it's pretty sick that they want to integrate some of the zombie map ideas into this. I think that's awesome. You know, when zombies first started off, it was based off the multiplayer maps and now kind of like a switch, I think is pretty awesome. Now there's just a little bit of details on the DLC maps, not much. It says not much details at the moment as a team are working on the default maps. However, a 100% underwater map that was going to be a default map yet to be named will be inspired by Lion City. Lion City is a city underwater in China that was purposely flooded in the mid 1950s. So it looks like a 100% underwater map is going to be coming to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know your thoughts on the leaks or rumors. Leave some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a favorite. Let's try to shoot again for 500 likes. It'd be insane if you could hit it. And of course, if you are new, if this is the first video you're watching, then make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss any content in the future. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time like comment subscribe and make sure them out peace